Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is very dear to my heart and I don't even know why it has taken me so long to talk about it. Today's topic is synchronicity. My spiritual research started when I was 11 years old and a big part of it was just experiencing a lot of weird, scary, interesting, fascinating things. I knew there was something to it. I wanted to learn and understand. So I started reading all the books on the subject that I could find. And you know when you have those moments where things finally click in your head and make sense? That's what happened with me when I came across the concept of synchronicity. What I love about it and about developing your spirituality as a whole is that it gives you the tools to interpret life correctly and it helps you see the magic behind the mundane and the dark of planet Earth. In this sense, it's very much like an awakening, like going from being a zombie just going through the motions of life to being an active participant in your life. And the thing is that if you don't understand the holy language of the universe, sooner or later you will find yourself stuck and overcome with stress, frustration, pain, grief, rage, very human feelings we all have but they can negatively affect your experience if you don't put them in the correct context. To quote Carl Jung, who came up with the notion of synchronicity, synchronicity is a never-present reality for those who have eyes to see. But what is synchronicity exactly? Synchronicity was defined by Jung as an causal connecting principle, whereby internal psychological events are linked to external world events by meaningful coincidences rather than causal chains. In other words, those coincidences that are too weird to be just a coincidence are actually meaningful moments that can help us understand the universe and our place in it. The inspiration for the notion of synchronicity came to Jung during a therapy session with a patient who was describing a dream of a golden scarab, which in the dream was a piece of jewelry. As she was describing the dream more in depth, Jung heard a tapping at the window behind him, so he went and opened the window and he saw a goldish green scarab, very much like the one his patient was talking about. Now the question is, how can we experience synchronicity in our everyday life? An example is when you think of someone and they call you the next minute, or when you have a dream about something and it happens the next day. But there are so many different signs of synchronicity. Dreams, but also numbers, symbols, conversations with strangers, songs, music. I have found that these special coincidences happen mainly for two reasons. One is to awaken you to catch your attention and show you that nothing in this world is random. We are all deeply connected with each other, like pieces of a divine puzzle, and we are never alone in our journey. There's an invisible but powerful magical force that never leaves our side, and is there with us through every step, every encounter, every challenge of our life. Once you get to experience that, you'll realize the perfection and the beauty of the creation. And two is to guide you. These coincidences become more frequent when you are going through a transitional period, when you are out of your comfort zone or traveling. Every time you are growing, expanding, healing and getting closer to something strongly associated with your destiny or soul mission, the universe wants to let you know that you are doing the right thing. The message is, you are in the right place at the right time. Remember, there's so much love, grace and redemption beyond doubt and fear. Let me know in the comments any meaningful coincidences that you have experienced and I'll see you next week. Holy Spirit.